Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Prime Minister Narendra Modi are likely to lay the foundation for the Ahmedabad Mumbai bullet train project. This rupees 1 lakh crore project might be kickstarted during Japan Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's visit to India this September. So is India's high speed rail push all about expensive bullet trains? No, not really. Indian Railways is actually working on a three-pronged strategy. First, semi-high speed trains. Railways is attempting to run semi-high speed trains on corridors such as Delhi Mumbai and Delhi Kolkata. Trains on these corridors could run up to 160 km per hour on average. Niti Aayog has just approved the Rail Ministry's Rs 18,000 crore proposal. Second, the Railways is looking at bullet trains pretty seriously. A new entity called High Speed Rail Corporation of India Limited HSRC, has been formed to act as the nodal agency for high speed rail projects. Mumbai Ahmedabad is the first corridor which has been undertaken for implementation by the agency. The project is estimated to cost Rs 1.8 lakh crore. Japan International Cooperation Agency has agreed to fund nearly 80% of the total project cost through a 50-year loan. The High Speed Rail Corporation of India is also at the advanced stages of completing the feasibility study for the Delhi Amritsar, Delhi Chennai, and Chennai Bangalore corridors. Third, Railways is also engaging with futuristic technologies like bringing the Hyperloop to India. Hyperloop is an ultra fast rail system. This rail system can deliver speeds of more than 600 km per hour. With all these three options being explored and implemented, rail travel in India is certainly set for exciting days ahead.